First, let's get Git installed in our computers. You can easily find the install scripts for your specific machine on the website that's listed in the description of this course. Another way of installing Git is by using Homebrew. In that case, we simply have to type brew install git. To check whether git has been installed correctly, we can check the current version of git on our machine by typing git dash dash version. If you see a version, you've successfully installed git on your computer. Now let's see what git is all about and how it can help us. Let me walk you through the labs in this course. This course is project based. Throughout the course, you'll be working as an author as part of a team developing stories. So why stories? We have a good mix of developers and operations people as part of our audience. And we thought that a generic, simple project idea would work best for all. This way, you can spend more time working on Git and less time worrying about the project itself. The team consists of Sarah, Max and Tage, who are authors, and an experienced writer, Tom, who will help review their work. Every lecture is followed by a lab activity. The labs open up right in your browser. You'll have a terminal to a workstation and a set of tasks to be performed in the quiz portal. The quiz portal gives you anywhere from 10 to 15 tasks to complete. You'll see two kinds of tasks. The first is where you explore the environment and identify information. You'll need to use Git commands and logical reasoning skills to figure out the answers to the question. The second are real tasks that you have to perform, such as initializing Git repositories, performing commits, working with branches, or pushing and pulling code from remote repositories. Once the task is complete, press the check button to test your work. Your work will be tested and you'll be given feedback instantly. In our labs, we use a lighter version of GitHub, known as Gidea, as our hosted Git service. You can access that by clicking on this button at the top of your terminal. This will give you a real-world experience of working with a team. I hope you're excited, so let's jump right in.